Have you heard of the movie A Space Odyssey? 2001 A Space Odyssey, a 1968 epic science fiction film produced and directed by Stanley Kubrick. Have you heard of the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey, a 1968 epic science fiction film produced and directed by Stanley Kubrick? The screenplay was written by Kubrick and science fiction author Arthur C. Clarke. It was inspired by Clarke's 1951 short story, The Sentinental, and other stories by Clarke. This movie is remembered for a long time. It crossed 2 million in the US and Canada. The film earned 8.5 million in theatrical gross rentals from roadshow engagements throughout 1968. Upon release, 2001 received both praise and derision with many New York-based critics being especially harsh. The film won the Hugo Award for Best Dramatic Presentation as voted by science fiction fans and published science fiction writers. Ray Bradbury, another science fiction writer, praised the film's photography but disliked the vanity of most of the dialogue and believed that the audience doesn't care when Google dies. Both he and Lester D. Ray disliked the film's feeling of serenity and blandness in the human encounters amidst the technological wonders, while both praised the pictorial element of the film. Isaac Asimov spoke well of it in his autobiography and other essays. James P. Hogan liked the film, but complained that the ending did not have any sense of The film won the best special visual effects at the academy awards the best art direction best british cinematography best soundtrack at the british academy film awards best foreign film at the cinema writers circle best foreign film at the david d donatello awards outstanding directorial achievement in motion pictures by the directors Guild of America Awards, Best Film, Best Director by the Kansas City Film Critics Circle Awards, Best Roadshow by Laurel Awards, Top 10 Films, National Board of Review Awards, placed it at the top 10. 2001 A Space Odyssey is widely regarded as among the greatest and most influential films ever made. In 1991, it was deemed culturally historically or aesthetically significant by the United States Library and Congress and selected for preservation in the National Film Registry. In, nine, in 2010, in 2010, it was named the greatest film of all time by the Moving Arts Film Journal. The influence of 2000 on subsequent filmmakers is considerable. Spielberg calls it his film generation's Big Bang, while Lucas says it was Hugely inspiration, Collie Kubrick, the filmmaker's filmmaker. Sidney Pollack calls it groundbreaking, and William Fredkin says 2001 is the grandfather of all such films. At the 2007 Venice Film Festival director Ridley Scott said he believed 2001 was the unbeatable film that, in a sense, killed the science fiction genre. Similarly, film critic Michel Cement, in his Odyssey of Stanley Kubrick, wrote, Kubrick has conceived a film which in one stroke has made the whole science fiction cinema obsolete. Others credit 2001 with opening up a market for films such as The Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Alien, Blade Runner, Contact and Interstellar, proving that big budget, serious blockbusters as Hollywood staple. <laughs> Arthur C. Clarke, writer of a space odyssey. What's so special about Arthur C. Clarke? He is best known as a science fiction writer who blended scientific expertise and poetic imagination. He lived from 1917 to 2008. He wrote many non-fiction books on space travel, communication technologies, underwater exploration and future studies. Both his fiction 
and factual books have inspired generations of scientists, innovators, and astronauts. Clark was versatile as he was creative, pursuing multiple careers as an undersea explorer, science popularizer, television commenter, and movie collaborator. From covering Apollo moon landings to proving mysterious phenomena, he became well known to millions of television viewers around the world. His advice was sought and respected by space program managers in both the US and former Soviet Union. In the end, however, he wanted to be remembered most as a writer, one who entertained writers, one who entertained readers, and hopefully stretched their imagination as well. As he said in his 90th birthday's reflections video in December 2007, Arthur C. Clarke lived from 1917 to the year 2008. His literary output was formidable. In a career spanning over six decades, he wrote over 100 books as well as 200 short stories and numerous essays on a broad range of topics. Among his best setting science fiction novels are Children's End, 2001, A Space Odyssey, and Rendezvous with Rama. In total, he wrote 22 science fiction novels and won all the major awards in his literary genre at one time or another. In 1986, science fiction writers of America named him a Grand Master of Science Fiction. A very short story entitled The Sentinel was later expanded to make the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey, which Clark co-wrote with director Stanley Kubrick. Half a century later, 2001 is still regarded as the most important science fiction film made. Clark followed this with the literary sequels 2010 Odyssey 2, published in 1982 and adapted into a movie in 1984, 2061 Odyssey 3 in 1987, and 3001 The Final Odyssey in 1997. He is put in the same league as Isaac Asimov and Robert Heinlein as the three maestros of science fiction. With that, I end my session today. I shall meet you again tomorrow for another story. If you like this video, click it, share it, and subscribe. This is Distinguished Toastmaster Brahma Kumar. We'll meet again.